to me, this is about as glorious as anything I could think of to be doing. I mean, you know, I'm a, I'm a believer in God, and I love to have an opportunity to be in the in the neighborhood of God's creation and to worship and praise God for what I see. I see, I see just incredible things, and here I am. Here I am. Uh, how many people have an opportunity to be right here where I am and to experience this kind of thing? To me, it's just fabulous and amazing and praiseworthy. I, I feel like, well, this is a wonderful opportunity to praise God for the beauty of His creation. I've got, a, I've got some YouTube friends that don't believe in God, and they i got one in particular, but I, could, I see him on Facebook more than on YouTube. But he goes way out of his way to say anti-God things. You know, it's like he just makes fun of God and makes fun of people who believe in God. And, and that's okay. That's who he is. And I'm not, I'm not trying to change him. I, I have shared my thoughts with him a time or two. And we both agree that we don't agree. But at the same time, you know, he's a good person. He's doing the best he can to, you know, live in the world where he's trying to make sense out of what's going on in the world. And, you know, to be honest with you, in this world, there are things that happen that sometimes it's, it's hard to make sense of, and, and sometimes you, you just wonder, uh, well, you just wonder. But, you know, God has made this beautiful playground for us, this wonderful place where we can just be out here and experience the amazingness of it all, and that is, to me, that is fabulous, just fabulous. So, I forgot what I was trying to say here, maybe it was just that this is a wonderful chance. Oh look, there's a beautiful dragonfly. I believe dragonflies represent something in life. I remember there was a time when I lived up in Maine, and I'd heard this story about a bunch of, I think it was, um, Vietnamese children that had been massacred. They had been killed. Uh, some, and I'm not sure if it was Vietnam or if it was Cambodia or where it was, but you know, we've lived through some horrors and we see horrible things happening. We experience them in this life. And um, I was living in a little cabin on a lake, little lake up in Maine. And there had been a lot of children killed. Just, just brutally murdered in an outrageous event. The kind of things that happen, and we hear about them, and we, we get to, we hear about them, we know about them. We try to wrap our minds around how, how could something like this happen. But it was this one particular day, I was, I was on the water, and I was thinking about all these children, and all these little dragonflies showed up, and I thought, there's something about them that just made me think about little angels, little dragonfly angels, and, and you know maybe these little dragonflies were the angels, were angels. I don't know somehow in representation of the children that were lost. I don't even know how to explain my thinking sometimes. But ever since then, when I see dragonflies, I think of little 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 spirits that have come back to visit us. Uh, and that has no <laughs> that has no biblical representation. It's just something that went through my head. Um, and now I think I see dragonflies, and I think about things like that. I think about those little children that are lost, and us, you know, being witnesses to things that happen out there in the world. Here I am, stuck on a tree. <laughs> this is pretty cool, though. Um, I might get my phone out and just shoot, a, just shoot a short video here. Maybe back away from the tree and do a little YouTube short. I, uh, I had Honey Baby put a new case on my phone the other day, and I finally got it working, and that's, that's pretty neat.
I'm stuck in here right now. 